Yes! That's awesome! What? You just took one in the jugular, man! Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host, Aaron. And for today's video, we're headed to the world of Last Epoch. A little over a week away until 092, the highly anticipated update for Last Epoch drops, titled The Runes of Power. And we are getting one of the three missing masteries, the Rune Master. And for today's video, I've got some exclusive content to show you. We're going to look at some gameplay for the Rune Master and check out the tool tips for each skill. This update is going to be awesome. Now, before we get into this video, two things I want to discuss. September 7th, the actual day this update drops, I will be attempting my first. 24 hour stream might have some special guests coming in. We're going to be giving away game keys. We're going to be giving away merch and it should be a blast. I'm hoping I can do it. I finally sold myself on trying it because when I flew to Germany to Gamescom, I stayed awake for 30 hours and I was like, well, if I could do it while traveling, I think I can do it on stream. So that's going to be the plan. So set your calendar September 7th, 24 hour stream. Second thing I want to discuss is within the next few days, I'm going to be announcing the third action RPG treasure hunt. We're going to be starting a rune master. We're going to be hunting for a certain new unique to create an awesome legendary for this new mastery. Signups going to be going up this weekend. The flyer is going to be going out soon. So if you want to be a part of the third annual treasure hunt race, I don't know, however you want to put it. All you got to do is join the Discord. First link in the description. Sign up's going to be coming this weekend. 24 hour stream. Treasure hunt's coming. Okay, let's get into some Rune Master exclusive content. Starting off with our first skill, Flame Rush. Let's pull up the tooltip for this new skill. Flame Rush. You turn into a ball of flame and launch yourself to the target location. The longer you hold down the key, the slower you move. But the larger and more damaging the explosion is when you stop channeling. You take 40% less damage during Flame Rush. It does do damage, it does have a mana cost, and it does have a cooldown because this is the new awesome movement skill coming to the mage. Scaling tags, fire spell, area channeled, movement traversal, and intelligence. Now, for this skill, you can change it and it has a lot of options. You can make it go farther, you could reduce the cooldown, you could change it to cold, you could change it to lightning, you can keep it fire, and there are other skills that support it as well. Now, I probably should have mentioned at the beginning of the video that everything I am talking about right now is subject to change. EHG is tweaking and maneuvering things right now to make sure it's as balanced as possible for patch on September 7th. Here is some gameplay for Flame Rush. I love Flame Rush so much. Moving on to our second skill for the Rune Master. This is Frost Wall. Let's bring up the tooltip for this new skill. Frost Wall creates a wall of frost which persists for six seconds. Enemy inside the wall take cold damage over time and receive a stack of chill every 0.25 seconds. You have up to one active frost wall at a time. Enemies that reach the wall at least 0.2 seconds after it's been created are frozen for twice as long as the wall has existed. Up to two second freeze duration. Bosses cannot be frozen this way. Does damage, does have a mana cost, no cooldown, scaling tags, cold spell, damage over time, and intelligence. Now, just like Flame Rush, your, fro your frost wall can also turn into Firewall, D2 fans out there, can also turn into a lightning wall. And you're going to notice that as a theme for the Rune Master, that all these skills can be converted into whatever element you want, or you can just keep all of the elements. 
My fan favorite is you can actually turn your frost wall into a large lightning wall and the left and right of it will actually shoot your lightning blast. The way I like to put it is you can kind of create Tesla coils. It's really, really neat. Enjoy some gameplay for Frostwall. Skill number three, moving over to the Glyph of Dominion. Let's pull up this tooltip now. Glyph of Dominion, or what I like to call is Lightning Bomb. Now, you might know this already, but I love lightning. And the Rune Master I plan on making is going to be a Lightning Rune Master. I know it's boring. I know it's straightforward, but that's just how I roll. Places a lightning glyph on the ground that grows over time, deals lightning damage over time, and slows in its area. At full size, it detonates, dealing large amounts of lightning damage to enemies within its area. You can have a maximum of one glyph at a time by default. Does damage, has mana, no cooldown, scaling tags, lightning, spell, and intelligence. And this skill does take a little bit of time to get used to, because it takes a really long time for it to actually explode. But just like the other ones, lots of options inside of the skill tree. Enjoy a little bit of gameplay for the Glyph of Dominion. See it building around, boom. We have now come to our fourth skill and this is rune bolt let's pull up of course it's tooltip now what's interesting about rune bolt is this is going to be your main skill for actually generating runes which it does very well and the skill is practically free a combo spell that fires a piercing projectile the first part of the combo is fire the second is lightning and the third is cold Damage per second, mana, and there is no cooldown. Now for scaling on here, it's lightning spell and intelligence. That's because when I took this picture, it was I was specced into a certain way. But you could turn it to all lightning, you turn it to all cold, you could turn it to all fire, you can take it from one projectile to three. Again, everything is subject to change. And in my opinion, this is really for building your runes. It is not a main damage dealer, at least in my initial testing. So we're going to have to see how it goes. Enjoy the gameplay for Rune Bolt. You are my favorite. If there was a favorite skill in this entire game, this is it. Check out this tool tip. Now, I just want to start by saying this is the most advanced skill or maybe the most advanced thing that 11th Hour Games has done for last epoch ever in my opinion. And we'll see what happens with Warlock and Falconeer. But this singular skill is likely going to make 100 different build guides. It's, it is incredible. So let's go through it. Runic Invocation. Passive. Whenever you directly use an elemental skill, gain one rune of the corresponding element. For channeled skills, you gain one rune per second instead. Active. Consume all the runes to cast a unique invocation based on the combination of the order of the runes consumed. The last rune of the sequence determines the damage type. Casting a fire skill gives you an R rune. Casting a lightning skill, G rune. Cold skill, H rune. Scaling tags, spell, buff, area, movement, and intelligence. This one, it takes some getting used to, but once you've got it, it clicks. I, I, gotta, I gotta show you this video. I gotta show you this video. My face is covering it. Where am I? My cam. Move over. Okay. These are all the combinations. There are 
40. Technically, there's 39, and then the 40th one is you could actually trigger the skill without a rune. But every single one of these combinations of skills has its own tooltip that you can scale. 40 different skills in one skill. And this skill has its own skill tree that you can further modify, including uniques that also are for the Rune Master. All right, check this out. That's the exclusive. You have now seen the five new skills coming to the Rune Master for 092. And honestly, there's so many other things to share. There's more coming than simply just the Rune Master, but obviously that is the big exciting news. And by the way, even though I don't think they have minion tags, some of those runes also make turrets. You heard that correctly. That's the video. Make sure you join the Discord for the up and coming treasure hunt race. And don't forget, we're going to be streaming here 24 hours early. That's what I'm going to attempt when it drops. That's all I got. EHG, I had an absolute blast with you in Germany, getting to know all you. Best studio in the business. Hopefully you were entertained or at least learned something. Aaron, out.